Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth through the Spirit. And Shalom to the mighty Akim and Akwath out there who are diligently waiting to be delivered from this final captivity. And today's topic, I'm going to be um, answering the question of Does the Bible say that we're not allowed to judge people? Okay, so. Um, basically, a lot of Christians will say, "Oh, no one can. Only God can judge me." Blah blah, blah and all that crap. Now, the thing about that is that it's wrong. Okay, anyone, well, no, not anyone, but only the righteous can judge, and we're gonna prove that through the scriptures. Okay, so firstly, Leviticus chapter nineteen, verse fifteen: "Ye shall do no." unrighteousness in judgment thou shalt not respect the person of the poor nor honor the person of the mighty but in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor okay so already um it's saying that you're not allowed to judge unfairly like you can't favor a certain person just because they have money or just because they have status or whatever over someone who doesn't have status all right so it's saying regardless of the people involved regardless of the people involved you need to actually um understand the situation and judge the matter righteously so uh, in by extension you know that means anything like if you're seeing someone like for example if you're seeing a rich person that's gay like any rich gay person that i don't know by name i don't know any gay famous gay person but if you're looking at them okay you see okay they are clearly doing wickedness all right so obviously you're judging and saying that okay they're they're wicked clearly clear and simple all right and by extension if you see someone who's poor and gay then obviously again you you can still say that they're wicked okay or or vice versa if you see someone that's well known and they're just doing something good you obviously say they're doing something good same for the um the poor all right um deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 16 and i charge your judges at the same at that same time saying hear the causes between your brethren and judge righteously between every man and his brother and the stranger that is with him okay so it doesn't matter if it's a stri- in the in the case of you know if it's a stranger and your brethren or your stranger and whatever you if if there is a problem you have to handle it properly all right and uh quickly as i mentioned um gay um leviticus chapter 18 verse 22 thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind it is a bomb it is abomination meaning obviously meaning that um you can't as a man you can't sleep with another man there's no homosexuality okay that's that's off that's an abomination all right so that that's what that's what how that's how we know that you know people that do that are wicked all right now deuteronomy chapter 16 verse 19 thou shalt not shalt not rest judgment Thou shalt not respect persons, neither take a gift, for a gift doeth blind the eyes of the wise and pervert the words of the righteous. Okay, so now it says, don't take a, neither take a gift, for a gift doeth blindeth blind the eyes of the wise. Meaning that a bribe. Okay, you can't accept bribes, which you know people already are give bribes to uh, influence. Um, influence the outcome of a certain judgment okay so if things were going you know the other side you and you and then you bribe going well for the other side and then you bribe them okay the people that judging or handling the matter they're going to say okay well at, you know technically you know something 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 this person is actually in the wrong okay so they could a bribery flips the switch because it makes it 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 makes you um more 
it makes p- someone more sympathetic towards the person that actually bribed them. So they're going to be finding loopholes to, you know, justify the person that bribed them, okay? Even if they're in the wrong, all right? And then, uh, like it says, it blinds the eyes of the wise, meaning the wise is who are um, handling the judgment. Um, handling the judgment, they're not going to be able to judge properly, all right? And pervert the words of the righteous, meaning the... Um, Oh, this man is guilty when they're actually innocent. Okay, that's that's what um, the pervert pervert the words of the righteous, meaning that the uh, incorrect things that is going to be said. All right. Now, John chapter seven verse twenty four: Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Okay, so this goes you know obviously in what we were we were we were speaking okay um what we were speaking about in if any situation happened where you see something looks a certain way you still need to you know get both stories and assess the situation properly but also this also extends into you know trying to find out or trying to understand who is an israelite and who is not an israelite okay because it's not according to um, appearance. It is uh, according to your 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 bloodline, your seed line, the seed of the father. All right. So a lot of times, you know, well, no, you know, yeah, slakius. A lot of times, um, people, brothers, will just assume, okay, this person is a so-called black person, so they're an Israelite. Okay, but well, that's not the case. So, and they will also say, oh, this person is. A so-called white person, so obviously they're an Edomite. Okay, well, that that's wrong because, um, what what is that lady's name? That woman's name. Okay, I don't know how many times I've googled this. There, Tracy Ellis Ross. Okay, her father is an Edomite. All right. Her, as, as a matter of fact, her father was an Edomite in the show. As well as her father was an Edomite in real life. Right here. Perfect. Robert Ellis, whatever it said at the end of it. Okay, look at him. He's an Edomite. So, and this is his daughter. So, obviously, that's... She's an Edomite. Okay? She looks like a Jake, but in actuality, she is um, an Edomite. Another example of someone who who doesn't look... As they are, Blake Griffin. What the hell? Okay, there. Blake Griffin was born in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Oklahoma City, Oklahoma to Tommy Griffin, who is of Afro-Haitian descent, and Gail Griffin, who is white okay so his father's afro haitian and gail is white um edomite woman okay so this is his father and this is his um his mother i was about to say wife his this is his mother okay so and she looks like a gail as well <laughs> Slakia. um what was i saying oh, and here look at his son uh where's his wife his actual wife well, I'll get it after. But now you see how, now you see how his uh, son looks like an actual Edomite. But we know, you know, through the seed line of your father, he is an Israelite okay, because his father. This is an Israelite, and this is his son. Even though he looks, he, he already looks like an Edomite right now, Blake Griffin. And then now Blake Griffin, if Blake, as we know, Blake Griffin is an Israelite. So now you see over here his son, who looks like an Edomite, is actually an Israelite. All right. Now moving on. Um, oh, perfect! A beautiful um, topic I wanted to touch on. Um, Matthew. Matthew chapter seven, verse. 
from the top. Judge not that ye be not judged. Okay, so now a lot of uh, Christians want to take this and say, oh, you got you can't judge me, only God can judge me, blah, blah, blah. Um, and all that stuff, okay? So now this is what this is what um Christians want to take to um say that oh no one can judge me except for God, okay? When it's actually Yahweh Shai, all right? Now read reading on for in verse two, for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged, and with what measure ye meet, ye it shall be measured to you again. Okay, basically it's saying, so by the same standards that you judge someone, um, you're going to be judged the same way, all right? Now, basically what that means is, which is where the misconception comes in, as it is literally the next verse. Well, it's not very, not well, it is a misconception, okay? In the sense that they're saying that, okay, you're saying that people can't be gay people can't love who they want to love okay but you yourself you're not perfect all right and now the flaw with that is that as it says in verse two for with what judgment ye judge ye shall all, ye shall be judged okay meaning that if your your standard is saying you're you're going to get punished for being gay okay so you stop being gay so now if someone tries to judge you for being gay, even though you're saying don't, be, if you're saying don't be gay and you're not being gay, then there's literally no problem to it. So you should you should be willing to accept uh, that same standard that you judge other people with. If you're saying you can't be gay, don't be gay, and someone wants to hold that standard to you, then let them, okay? And then just don't be gay. That's literally. The end of the end all be all of it. How is it hypocritical? It's not hypocritical to say don't judge other people or unless you want to be judged when you are saying don't be gay and you yourself are not gay. Now don't get me wrong, there are I'm pretty sure there are like some a few Edomites that are actually gay while saying that, I'm sure. But at the end of the day, most commonly it is known that most people that say don't be gay actually are not gay themselves all right so and it also falls under the other commandments as well like for example Deuteronomy chapter 14 verse 8 which which is a big issue with our people Jake specifically um Deuteronomy chapter 14 verse 8 and the swine because it divide, divided the hood hoof Yet cheweth not the cud, it is unclean unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their dead carcass. Meaning that you're not allowed to eat or even touch, go near, you know, pork. All right? So, with that, if you, again, if you are saying don't eat pork to, to anyone, primarily Israel, then if then you shouldn't be eating pork yourself. If you practice what you preach, basically, is the same thing that... um. That, that's a saying that people say, okay? If you are practicing what you preach, w then there is absolutely no leeway for anyone to say anything to you that you're being a hypocrite or you can't judge, okay? So, with that being said, I want to. I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahashai, Ba'ashem Rakakwadash, the honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth through the Spirit. With that, I want to say Shalom.